All right. So tonight, again, we're going to go over this. This was released by, like, some of the information actually was shown off on stream by Cryptic in their yesterday's stream. But we'll go over it again officially because this is the uh, blog for it. <laughs> I can't get over this right now. I can't unsee Dumbo. Um, but it is called the United Earth Defense Force Vessel. That's a mouthful. That's a mouthful. And when you see the thumbnail that I put for this, you'll understand why I did it. I, I can't unsee it, but... So we have the vid here first. I have not seen this yet, but again, we saw it on the live stream, but we'll watch it right now. Oh, it's Dumbo. All I can think of was Dumbo. I'm I'm so sorry. I, hmm. Okay, let's let's put that aside. Let's go over this. Okay, let's have a better look at this. Okay, so the current run of the Infinity Logbox will be soon be updated with the addition of an all new starship. Starting November 16th, so that's next week, players on PC will have the chance to obtain and captain the United Earth Defense Force vessel. This formidable defender of planet Earth was seen defending the homeworld of the human race in Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery. Continue reading for further details on the new Starship offering. Now, I kind of liked one of the things that they said on stream where this was not the Federation. And this is purely the humans designing this ship. So the human race. And all I can think of is this is what we come up with? Like, did someone watch Dumbo before they designed this and it just, you know, stuck on their head? I. Um, it is what it is. There it is. There. You have the front three quarter, the top, and the side. Now, even this makes it almost worse. At first, when I saw this at a certain angle, it looked like a tooth. But even. One of the devs said it reminded him of a tooth or Dumbo, but anyways, we'll just go over this. So, United Earth Defense Force vessel, that's a lot t to say. It's a mouthful. When Earth of the 32nd century decided to part ways with the Federation in wake of the burn, they left behind much of Starfleet's tradition of building exploration and science vessels, and focused instead on large, sturdy vessels built for planetary defense. The UEDF vessel is the epitome of this philosophy featuring a heavy focus on shield resilience and durability, while sacrificing little in the way of defensive armaments. But with very little focus on auxiliary systems, however, being the only ship class in the UED fleet, it is also versatile enough to serve passably at many purposes. Even if the people of Earth are loath to make use of these starships for missions beyond patrolling and protecting their precious blue pearl. The ship features a Commander Tactical slash Command Bridge Officer Special Seat and a Lieutenant Commander Engineering. Command Bridge Officer Special Seat. I said it yesterday that this had a very interesting seating and I would love to kind of have that seating on any of my ships. But I, I, I can't. This, it's just, anyways, we'll, we'll 
we'll go over that again. So we'll just go over the ship details, tier six, uh, required uh, rank, of course, gas with the tutorial, palm modifier 1.25, shield modifier 1.4, four NAF weapons, four, four, device slots, three, bridge officer stations, of course, one commander tactical command, one lieutenant command, commander engineering command, one lieutenant science, and one commander science, uh, universal. So again, this seating is very interesting. Consoles, five tax, three engineering, three science. Of course, that's this was uh, one of their selling points for it. Base turn rate of eight, impulse modifier 0. 0.16, inertia 75, plus 10 weapon power, plus 10 shield power. The console's universal mobile, 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 wow, mobile defense net. I just had my Filipino Tourette's come out there. Uh, can equip dual cannons, inspiration command, specialization abilities, which is a good, good specialization to have the command to have as it has turned a tide for defense. Um, and um, all that stuff really, really helps, especially in, in the high end runs. That's why I've always loved command, even more so since they've buffed it up. Starship Mastery Package is a destroyer, and the uh, star uh, the trait is the Interlace Emitter Starship trait. So there is the stats for the Admiralty, Eng thirty seven Psi thirty Tac fifty nine Special plus six Psi per any ship. So here's the picture of that mobile defense net. It's a cool concept. I actually do like it, but. Uh, I mean, hey, if anyone can make shield tanking work, I'm sure there are other... Kind of my there are other... Um, captains who can do that and make that work well. So, there's a... very much so a unique console, and we'll go with that. So, uh, the console universal mobile defense net, the shielding technology of the UEDF is second to none, and this console makes great use to establish itself as a worthy interior of that reputation. With this technology equipped, your ship will be capable of generating a large area of protection for you and your allies. Centered a short distance behind your vessel, this area will move with your ship though the field itself will inhibit your ship's capability of maneuver at a full effective. Like, look how big that is. That's a huge net. Like, look, I can't even see the ship anymore. Uh, it may be deactivated prematurely should maneuverability prove to be more important in the moment than defense. You and allied vessels within the protective field will receive multiple shield-based benefits, including improved resistance to damage, automated redistribution, and periodic regeneration. This console also provides a passive to max and current shield subsystem power and maximum shield capacity. This console mod may be used on any starship in any console slot. Only one to the, these consoles may be equipped on a ship at a time. And the starship trait is the proximity alert. While this trait is slotted, activating any bridge officer abilities that restore shields to yourself or an ally will also briefly apply an effect that automatically redistributes the target's shields, provides them shield hardness, and renders shields immune to drain effects. This effect may not be reapplied to target until it has worn off. So to target self or ally for three seconds when activating bridge officer's uh, shield heal, automatically redistribute shield facings, plus 20 shield hardness, and immune to shield drains. It's interesting. So these two are synergizing in terms of like it's just all about the shield and how the devs explained it was yeah you know the whole focus of the federation of those 32nd century ships were about hull tanking and all that stuff so with this they wanted to make it sort of a shield defense focus trait and i think they did it here this could be interesting I mean, I'm more tactical focused, so you know, if you ask me is if this is a ship I'll be getting, I'm, go I'm going to say no. But the bridge officer seating does interest me, but the ship ultimately does not. So again, that's just my 2EC, but good luck to you captains if this is something for you.